Hello there. Let's look at how we can find the measure of an angle. I have a uniquely defined triangle here by side angle with the 90 degree angle side. So there's only one possible measurement for this uh, angle up here and I'm going to figure it out. Now I could do the Pythagorean theorem uh, 15 squared plus 8 squared and see that that winds up being 17 squared, so that over there is 17. And then if I had that, I could do any trig ratio that I wanted, but let's say I, I don't have that, and instead I have to deal with the, just the 15 and the 8 that's known, and I want this angle up here. So the angle opens up to the 15, that's the opposite, and the 8 there is adjacent, so opposite and adjacent, this is a trig ratio. Uh, tangent ratio, tangent to be precise. So the tangent of the angle A is 15 over 8, and now I know the ratio, so I want to go backwards to find the angle. Now in the old days, I would look under my big table, 15 over 8, see that it's a decimal, refer to the tangent sign, da, 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 and go back to the angle. Nowadays, we use the inverse tangent. Inverse tangent, I am moving from the ratio of 15 eighths to get back to the angle A. This is when you use the inverse stuff. So I just type this in and evaluate in my calculator and around to two decimal places. Now it's actually really, really important when you do this stuff that this is precise. This is not going to be rounded. If you round your ratio to two decimal places, your angle actually could be off by a number of degrees. It's kind of startling. All right, so that was that one. On this side, a little bit faster, I want angle B. It opens up to the 33, so this is going to be opposite. And the 90 opens to the 65, so that's the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse, this is a sine ratio. Set up the ratio. So I know what the ratio is. I want to go back to get the angle. So moving from ratio to angle, I use the inverse. In this case, inverse sine. And stick that in and evaluate it. Okay, 30.51 degrees. So, previously where we had known angles and we used the trig ratios to find unknown lengths, now we know all the lengths and we're going backwards in the trig ratios. We're using inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent to go backwards and get unknown angles. Character and Scholarship for Life.